Now we're going to talk about uh, another concept called file input output or also known as file IO more commonly known as file IO and you may see it with the slash between the I and the O so uh, and this is about uh, a container on our computer that has information so a file is you can think of it as a um, if, if, we're, if we're taking the ziplock analogy further it's a garbage bag a big box that holds a lot of information um, and they sit out on our computer and they help us organize that information um, and without having it be all over the place and usually what happens is every file contains a certain type of information and so in this part of MATLAB we're dealing with files that uh, are Excel files which they're um, they have .xls or .xlsx uh, but this is these are files generated from the popular Microsoft program Excel um, there are also files CSV files comma separated values comma separated values and so they have values in them that are separated by commas um, and then there are text files and you can actually have text files that have values that are separated by something other than a comma and we'll look at that uh, we'll look at that when we get to in the third video of this series uh, or the fourth video of this series and then we have text files that contain words and verse and text um, and so we're going to look at these uh, three categories of files um, over this video series and what we're going to talk about is first of all how do you open the file so like on most computers now the way you open a file is you double click on it or you click on it um, or you uh, you type you go to file in some application and hit open um, once you open it then you can do stuff with it Right. And the same thing in MATLAB. So MATLAB is going to, we're going to deal with opening a file. And then once we open it, we can read stuff from it. All right, so we'll read stuff out of it. Or we can write stuff to it. Okay. And once we do that, we got to close it. All right. um, this is just like you deal with um, any file. So, um, so the writing stuff to it is the actual editing part. And then the reading is just looking at it. So you have to sort of let MATLAB know what you're going to do with the file. And so this is what we're going to do for these types of files. For Excel files, uh, for comma separated value files, for text files that have, and I'm going to put uh, delimited values. And then we're going to do also just text files that have uh, text in them. And we're going to deal with those. Okay, so that's sort of a precursor of what we're getting ready to do. Um, and learning how to manipulate files gives gives a lot of power uh, to MATLAB uh, because now you can go out and get data that exists in files either on your computer on the internet um, and you can manipulate the data in them and uh, come up with answers and analyze them and that kind of thing so let's get to it <laughs>